rating plus one five seven plus x item hash scp one two nine one object class euclid special containment procedures scp one two nine one is to be contained in an empty class four refrigeration unit SCP-1291 is to be restrained on a thermally insulated wheelchair to prevent injury. SCP-1291 is to wear a blindfold at all times. Personnel interacting with SCP-1291 are to under no circumstances make direct skin-to-skin -skin contact. In the event of accidental direct contact, affected personnel may request termination. Binding Maintenance Procedures each week of the NCAA Division I Football Bowl Subdivision, SCP-1291 is to be taken to a specially prepared stadium box in Harris Teeter Stadium at Mississippi River College to watch the football team, the Moccasins, play. No civilians are allowed contact with SCP-1291, and any that recognize it will be turned away. The Mississippi River College moccasins are under no circumstances to be allowed to play in a BCS bowl, or to leave NCAA Division I. The Foundation has arranged with the college to ensure the moccasins maintain a safe level of performance. The physical safety of SCP-1291 must also be ensured. Violations of these procedures strengthen SCP-1291's anomalous effects and are therefore to be avoided at all costs. Description SCP-1291 is a Caucasian male with graying blonde hair of approximately 40 years of age, apparently possessed by an entity of unknown nature. Designated SCP-1291-1 SCP-1291 is wheelchair-bound. But records show that SCP-1291 stood 184 centimeters tall prior to gaining anomalous properties. The eye color of SCP-1291 is unknown, as cameras cannot focus with its eyes in the frame, and looking at them directly exposes the viewer to SCP-1291's deleterious mental effects. Though SCP-1291 is capable of vocalization and movement, it has so far not demonstrated any ability to speak coherently, cannot walk, and frequently attempts to move in ways not anatomically possible in a human body, necessitating its restraint. SCP-1291 has not demonstrated physical strength above human levels. SCP-1291 has body temperature of about 155 degrees Celsius, and does not need to eat, drink, or breathe. Physical contact with SCP-1291 is universally fatal within a week, as it causes rapid growth of cancerous tumors throughout the body. Continued exposure to SCP-1291 results in full sensory hallucinations and increasingly disorganized thought and speech patterns, developing within about 48 hours of exposure. By 96 hours of exposure, all subjects tested so far have been rendered comatose. These symptoms do not fade with time. Making eye contact with SCP-1291 causes immediate catatonia. If the binding maintenance procedures are not followed, the body of SCP-1291 will begin to degrade. Patches of SCP-1291 skin gain similar properties to its eyes, and its body temperature rises significantly. Additionally, ash starts to materialize on unobserved surfaces in an expanding area. It is believed that this represents a weakening of the effects keeping SCP-1291-1 contained within SCP-1291. These effects gradually diminish back to the baseline when proper procedure is restored. Prior to containment, SCP-1291 was Roy Wilson the head coach of the Mississippi River College football team. Background research suggests Mr. Wilson had serpents and connections, though he was likely not a member. It is believed that he attempted to summon SCP-1291-1 to improve the Mississippi River College. Moccasin's performance at football, to date, 
SCP-1291 has not acted in any way to affect the Moccasins or their opponents. Addendum 1291-13. Attempts to abolish the BCS system for college football also seem to induce a degraded state in SCP-1291. Continuation of the BCS system is therefore designated part of the binding maintenance procedures for SCP-1291. Document 1291-2. Recovered documents from the Journal of Roy Wilson. Extraneous material omitted. January 8. The moccasins will win when hell freezes over. Another season passed. And our best chance for years squandered. 7 to 5. Better, but not even close to good enough. And with Vernon and Rhodes graduating, we lose half our defense. There's no way we do this well next season. Even if Tanner lives up to his potential. I've done all I can. I want to tell these kids that we're going to do it next season. We're going to go all the way. But I can't lie to them myself. January 18th. I have a very bad idea. Those folks from college. The sorcerers magicians. For lack of a better word. Sorcerers. I once tried their magic a little and I think I had some talent at it. Perhaps I could try that. Assuming that stuff is even real and not the product of a different sort of experimentation from days, February 1st. It's real. It's not a trick of my memory. It's the answer I need. My old notes were right. I went from the MRC library straight through to a rather grander library. There's a way of walking. A way of thinking. It's not some mystical right. You just walk along the wisdom. Anyhow, I found some books. It's a library. That's what it's for. Magic to raise the morale of my team. Magic to wither my enemy opponents. February 2nd. Calling the power is easy. The challenge is channeling it safely. As near as I can tell. It's best to do this through binding a demon spirit so that it takes the brunt of the fulcrum effect. It's just energy balancing. Bind the spirit until the moccasins win a BCS bowl. Why isn't this stuff used more? February 4th. Raised some spirits with the rituals in the book. It's easy to do, but they can't help me. It's like that old joke where the genie says that peace in the Middle East would be easier than the saints winning the Super Bowl. I tell them I want the moccasins restored. But no, that's the one thing they can't do. There's got to be better than this at the far library. February 8th. Got one last book. They didn't want to let me check this one out. But I insisted. About to try the summoning. Believed to be February 8th. Dread thing rose but bound bound bound. It shall serve. In my head there's a six silk nail. Until we win the feathered I will turn its gaze to the world. When the moccasins win, hell will freeze over.